Hi guys, welcome to Techie Ocean. In this tutorial, we'll see how to create reactive forms using Form Builder. So in the previous tutorials of this playlist, we have already seen how to create reactive forms using Form Group. So we are going to use the same template and same example and we are going to just replace it with Form Builder. So let's begin. So for creating the reactive forms, the basic requirement remains the same. That is, we have to import the reactive form module from Angular Forms. And we are going to import it in the import section here. Now I'll just go to the app.component.ts. So in the app.component.ts, I'm just going to import the form builder from the Angular Forms. And in the app.component, I'm going to inject that form builder using the constructor. So we are going to inject our form builder in this constructor and name it as FB. So now, as you know, in reactive forms, we have complete access of the user controls in the TS file. So we are going to create all the user controls in the TS file and then define it in the app.component.html. So let's see how to use the form builder. So let's create a parent group named as user profile form. I will just write this dot FB that is our form builder dot group. And I'm just going to close it here. So you can see here we have created a group named as user profile form and we are going to define all the hierarchy and all the user controls inside here. So we are going to define the first user control at the root level that is first name. The second control is last name. So let's declare one more nested group inside this parent form group named as address. So I'm going to declare one more nested form group named as address inside this form group. And inside this address, I'm going to have four user controls. So we are going to have four user controls, address one, address two, state and zip inside this nested group named as address, which resides in the parent group named as user profile form. So we have defined the hierarchy now, before going to the app.component.html, we'll just import the validators from Angular Forms. And we'll just make this first name as mandatory using this static validator, validators.required for the first name. So now we'll go to the app.component.html and we are going to define all these user controls in the same hierarchy. So let's create a form. So we are going to name this form group as user profile form as we have defined it in the app.component here. So this is our parent group and we are going to declare two root controls, first name and last name here. So I'm going to have two user controls, first name and last name. So you can see here the form group named is first name and last name, which is same as what we have defined in the app.component.ts. So now this is done. So we are going to define our nested group named as address. And inside this, we are going to define our four controls. So we are going to define our four controls, address one, address two, and zip, which is there in our nested group named as address. Now, since this is done, we are going to 
give a submit event to this form. So when I click on the submit button, I'm going to fire ng submit and I'm going to declare on submit method. So let's define the on submit method. On submit. So here I'm just going to write console dot one. And here I'm just going to write this dot user profile form dot value. So this is going to give me whole value of the form, but we'll also see how to access the individual values from the form control. So let's run this. So before running this, we will just have a submit button on the form. So I will just have a form button and the attribute disabled equal to user profile form dot value. So valid is an inbuilt method which checks whether all the validators which resides in this user profile form are valid, including the nested groups. So if everything is valid and all the validators are successfully validated, then only this button will be enabled. So in this case, we just have one simple validator for first name that is validators dot required. So let's run this. So you can see we have first name, last name and the nested group named as address, address one, address two, state and zip and the button is disabled because the validator is working on the first name. So as soon as I enter something here, you can see that the button is enabled. We'll just see the console. If I click on submit button, you can see the console.warn is fired and we can access the whole form here. So now we'll see how to access the individual user control value and dig into the nested groups user controls. So on the submit button, I will just comment this out because this is going to return me the value of whole object of the form. I just want to access the individual values. So let's take an example. If I want to access the first name root control of the form group. So I'll just declare a variable first name equal to user profile form dot controls first name dot value. The user profile form is our parent group and we are going to access this controls first name dot value and I'm going to take it into the variable named as first name. You can also directly access this. I'm just taking it for display purpose. Similarly, if I want to access the last name, I'll just write last name equal to this dot user profile form dot get get method for accessing the last name control dot value. So let's write console.log first name is last name is. So let's run this. So I'll just write Adam R. And when I click on submit button, you can see the first name is Adam and the last name is R. This is because we are directly accessing the individual user controls. So if I want to access the user control, which resides in the nested group named as address, which resides in the parent group, how will I do it? So let's see. So we have accessed the first name and last name, which is at the root level. Now we'll see how to dig into the nested group user controls. So we'll take an example in which we will access the address one and address two of nested group named as address, which resides in the parent group user profile form. So here I'm just going to write console.log and this dot user profile form dot get and I'm going to give the nested group name that is address and the address one. 
the nested group name is address and the user control name is address one. So I'm accessing the address group and I'm digging into the address one user control by using the get method. And this all resides inside our parent group named as user profile form. So we are just going to write console.log and we are going to call this method. So there is also an another method console.log this dot user profile form dot get address that is our nested group and then get the user control which resides inside that address group named as address2 dot value. So we are digging into the nested group user controls. So I have already written this inside the console.log. So let's run this. So I will just write address value as test address one, test address two. I will just hit the submit button and you can see that we have accessed the value of the root controls and the value of the nested groups. That is here. So thus in this tutorial, we have seen how to create reactive forms using form builder. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe, like or share.